got to go back to the Tiger Rooms because another star of the night, it was their captain, Chris Newman. He's with Nick Butler. Thanks, Shane. He was a star. I can remember about 10 years ago rooming with this man and he did a crossword book in Tasmania. What? And now he's got David King saying he's the uh, best captain in the AFL. Chrissy, congratulations. And uh, what do you got to say about that? Best captain in the AFL. Come on, Kingy. Let's uh, try and keep a lid on it, mate. I don't, uh, I don't know about that. You, you always looked after me. I've always been your favourite, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. Well what, well, what do you put it down to then, Yui? I think that, uh, look, I, I think captaincy is, is more than just, just on-field mannerisms and the, and the way you play. The, the whole package of Chris Newman, I, I think, offers more to your team than what any other captain in the AFL does. You've had, to, you've had to go through more from where we've come from over the last few years and put up with more and maybe stand up for your team more than others at times. But it's really paying dividends for you now, isn't it? Yeah, thanks, mate. Yeah, it, it, it probably has, and we've been through the tough times and uh, never played in a finals game, as you know. So, um, you know, I get hungry and hungry every week, and um, I'm just really proud of the boys' efforts the last uh, month or so. What excites you the most after what you saw tonight? I think again tonight we see another couple of kids bubble to the top again, and the ones that are already playing good football, that they maintain their form. But what, what do you see out there on the field tonight that excites you the most post-game? Oh, probably just the ability to, to keep our team spirit. I think it's been a real focus this this year, and we try and celebrate every goal. And uh, I think it's a really good sign when the young boys are taking it upon themselves to win the game. You know, as again, a lot of the younger boys sort of leading the way. So, um, you know, to to stand up and fight back from where we were, they're a quality side, Freo, but um, we showed a lot of resilience. Hey, New East, you got any comings here, mate? Well done to you, uh, brother. I, I, I just, I'm really happy for you. The fact that you're going to get you get getting to enjoy some good times now because I think as, as skipper all you've been is under the pump and you've had to be the face of uh, of the club you've had to be the face of the players and now you're actually starting to get to enjoy winning some footy mate tell, tell me the difference yeah well, I guess obviously being starved of, of any success early on I, and especially early in the year I, I thought when we get a win I'm, I'm going to savour it and I'm not going to take it for granted so I think that's probably across the board and all the boys have got the same sort of mindset so um yeah, it's great to have a win. It certainly uh, it appears as though it makes my job a hell of a lot easier and um, you know, I'm getting a con- contribution across the board, so they're really good with helping me out. I think the one thing uh, that Richmond supporters would love the most, mate, and what we enjoy watching you, is when the side really needs something, when the side's in trouble is when you become more noticeable for mine. Um, you know, that the first 15 minutes of the first and second quarter they really came at you and probably dominated you a little bit, but then you know you stood up and you were the first bloke to turn around and say yeah, and get Richmond back on a roll. Is it something that you can sense yourself and just say I'm I have to lead this side? Yeah, definitely. And I think um, you know I've had a bit of feedback where uh, I think the boys are, are craving a little bit of leadership on field. Um, I felt as though my presence probably wasn't felt early on in the year, so that's probably my main focus and. Um, and a focus of, of all the other leaders. So, um, yeah, it's probably something that's really important as a captain and important to me. I'm not that comfortable being that nice to you, mate, so yeah. he's, he's kicking. Yeah, enough of the nice stuff. <laughs> now, there, there was a time there, I think it may have been, was it the Adelaide game in, in Adelaide where maybe the Adelaide Crows leadership group really stood up in that last quarter and, and probably got them over the line that, that maybe the Richmond leadership group were challenged to, to, to take up that slack when those positions availed themselves. Is that, is that a fair... Yep. thing to say yeah absolutely that w- that was the game and that was a real slap in the face you know I really felt like um, I'd let the boys down and the leadership group felt as though they'd let the boys down because the, the Adelaide Crows leadership group really took charge and and I think the younger players were looking around for us to take charge in that last quarter and um, and we didn't but I think that's a real turning point of our year and and uh, it's definitely a focus what about the service out there tonight mate it, it seemed like there was a lot of Look, I know it's easy to be critical from up here because we really don't have to cover too much ground up here, mate. We just uh, we just keep eating the party pies. But it looked like hey, hey. looked like the boys lost their footing a fair bit, and that strip down the middle of the ground, it just looked like it wasn't quite knitted or part of the, the actual playing surface. Was there any problem with that? Any issue with that? Uh, I, I didn't find any issue with it. Um, I didn't slip over, but there were quite a few boys that were slipping over, but I think that's with any surface. Um, you're going to get that at times and um, that's just what you have to put up with. Newy, yeah, because you've joined us and because Kingy has oh, no. an enormous man crush on you and because our <laughs> friends at Sid Kramer are such oh, good no. people, we're going to throw you a set of uh, tools no. as well, mate. A 46-piece socket and spanner set. Mate, thanks. Uh, worth almost 300 bucks. Thanks to our great Jeez. friends at Sid Kramer. Yeah, can I hand a man a grand? It's been 
minute. You're getting a set as well, brother. Ah, oh, beautiful. Thanks a lot, boys. Thanks a lot, King. Do you know how to use them? No, I don't. No idea. Not a, I'm not a handyman at all. <laughs> these these will do it for you, these tools. Are that good? <laughs> He's got to run, boys. He's getting pulled into a meeting now. <laughs> good on you, Nick. Thanks for your time, Chris. An absolutely outstanding performance tonight from the Richmond captain, winning by 19 points. I can't even give the tools away now. Did, Scotty's coming yeah, in. No, 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 I'll, I'll come I back like to it. it. Did, did, did you see what I mean about his impact as a captain on this club? I, I know it's an easy thing to throw around, but you name me a captain in the club that has had more impact on his club over the last um, 15 weeks of football. Well, he's, he's out of necessity too. No, no, you name one, name one that's had more impact. 